And this last question came in from John, who's looking at a NUC versus the NVIDIA Shield, and which one is better for a home theater operation. And I have to say, at the moment, the Shield is still my pick, uh, primarily because it supports a lot of the 4K formats, namely HDR video, that the NUCs, at least on the lower end, don't yet support. Uh, but also because the Shield is really designed to be a lean back experience uh, because its interface is designed for televisions and that's something Windows lacks. You just can't get a good TV interface by default on Windows. I'm sure you could get some kind of uh, add-on launcher or something like that, but you still have to go through the login process and there's still updates to contend with and everything else. It doesn't feel like we've got a good TV interface baked into the operating system yet. And I'm surprised Microsoft hasn't done that given how many people are connecting their computers to TVs these days. They certainly have a tablet interface thought about for their tablet-based devices. And for some reason, they just haven't done a television interface since Windows Media Center all those many years ago. My suspicion is that they don't want to eat into the Xbox's market share because that is their uh, essentially Windows-based TV device. But I think Windows could really benefit from a lean back interface where you have something that's better suited for a TV interface versus the standard desktop that we get. We're often getting these big keyboards to sit on the couch with, with trackpads that don't seem to work so great across the room. It'd be nice just to be able to pick up a remote control and use the computer. Apple, by the way, did this a number of years ago. They have stopped since, but they had a lean back interface involving these little white controllers they shipped with all of their MacBooks for a short time. And when you push the button on the controller, uh, the computer would turn into essentially the early version of the Apple TV and give you access to your media and other things that uh, you might want to look at when the computer was directly connected to a television. It was really cool. The Mac Mini did it also. But unfortunately, Apple, like Microsoft, took it out of the operating system in recent versions of it, and it doesn't look like there is any plans to bring it back again. Apple, of course, has the Apple TV, which is geared towards television users, too, so perhaps they don't want to eat into that device's market share either. But I really think all of these major computer brands could benefit, especially Windows, from a real lean-back television interface. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.